Hey guys, how's it going? A like butter here. Welcome back to another Warframe video. And today uh, is, I think, my sixth or seventh day on Warframe, and I want to give my overall thoughts on my first week of progress and explain to you guys why I am so incredibly addicted to this game and uh, if this game would be something that you might enjoy if you haven't tried it already. Um, or maybe even if you've tried it in the past and didn't really get as hooked and uh, that happened to me as well I had to really truly give the game a chance and learn to figure out if it was a game that I'd really enjoy so um, I want to talk about why this game is is so good and why it's kind of attracted me so much to it even after you know hours and hours of playing I think I got about 50 to 60 hours in the game now, and uh, I'm loving every second of it. I am completely addicted. I think about it all the time, and it's been a long, long time since I've been so addicted to a game that I'm just constantly thinking about it. And the reason is, is because there is such a huge variety of, of customization, and I keep bringing that up in my Warframe videos because I think that is something that makes people very attracted and very addicted to a game like this, a, a looter uh, style game, is when you can customize your character so much that it feels like your own. I've, I've played so many games where there's only small variations of your character and you're going around and there's really nothing to kind of show off. In this game, it's just completely all about showing your character off and, and just getting loot, and I love that. Now, is this game going to be for everyone? Absolutely not. Um, it is very grindy. I've seen some people in my chat recently saying that they gave the game a shot, and it really wasn't for them. They didn't like that the missions were the same over and over. Um, they do have like randomly generated missions, but essentially you're going to be doing the same thing over and over again. There's like, you know, only a couple of, of style of missions. There are a lot of different missions, don't get me wrong, but you're going to usually, you know, it's going to be like excavate or, you know, you're going to have a defense or you're going to be playing something like that. And it's all going to revolve around the same style where you're just going through killing waves and waves of enemies. But it's the way that you kill those waves of enemies that it never, ever gets old. And I think it's because in with all the badass abilities that your characters have, there's just so many different ways to clear waves that you feel like you're not doing the same repetitive thing over and over and over again. And I think a lot of people who are new to the game really don't even know how their abilities work or how to level up their character to start feeling that power spike and that's why i think the first time i played warframe i didn't really give it a full chance because i didn't really understand what i was building for and i didn't get that feeling of power since i didn't know what mods were i didn't even know that i had abilities there was just, it, it was a shit show. I was running around just shooting low level enemies and I was like, oh, you know, this is kind of cool. But it had like that shooter feeling. Um, and I know like, you know, that calling it a shooter doesn't really do it justice because there's so many uh, Warframes that are built around meleeing. But I think that it takes about, I'd say like an hour or two with someone who really knows what they're doing to actually be able to appreciate what this game has to offer. And uh, I just love that there, every single day, I wake up and there's different guns, different characters, different gear that I want to, you know, go towards. And that constant grind is pretty satisfying to me as a player who has only really played multiplayer competitive games. To have something so addicting on a PvE standpoint is really, really cool. And if you guys are watching this video and haven't given Warframe a chance, I really highly suggest that you do because it's honestly one of the most addicting and most fun games that I think I've ever played in my entire life. And I'm super salty that I only, like, now started getting into it with Destiny 2 coming out in less than a month. And uh, I honestly see this game being one of my main games that I play even after Destiny 2 is out because of how much fun it is and how dedicated the developers are to continually bring out new content every single month and with you know the monthly patches how they're just like adding a weapon they just recently added a bow not too long ago there's going to be a major content drop 
uh, coming soon in September. So you can just see that they're staying pretty consistent. And the reason they're staying pretty consistent is because with free-to-play titles, they need to continually make things that are attractive to their player base in order to be able to fund the project. And I think that's cool. And I think a, a huge problem with AAA developers is that they're completely, you know, just all of their success is really built on the launch of the game, not so much on how uh, relevant the game stays over time. So I think they did such a fantastic job with the free-to-play format, where if you're putting enough time into the game, you're going to get the things that you would often have to pay for in other games, and I, I absolutely love that. So I wanted to post this video, kind of just give you guys an overview of like my first week playing. I am so so excited to learn the game more and eventually hopefully i can make some good content for you guys on how to get maybe certain warframes or uh how i kind of progress through i think i'm like almost close to my mastery 7 uh rank up test that's gonna be pretty cool uh my mastery is gonna be uh already seven after a week you can see how hard i've been grinding i've had a lot of help from the community i just want to thank the warframe community so much for being so inviting and it's such an absolute pleasure to be in contact with and to be a part of and it's just it's great to see people who are willing to help you out no matter you know how new you are or you know just how bad you are at the game because when i first started playing this game i was so bad i didn't know what the heck i was doing and everyone was just super just accepting and uh i think a good example of this is um one time we were doing one of the puzzles and it was the puzzle with the two lines that's like almost trolly how easy it is and uh i was like pretending that i didn't know how to do it and i was like messing it up and whatnot just to kind of troll around and make my chat laugh and someone who was new came in and it was actually trying to explain that all you have to do is line the two lines up and like somebody with that amount of of just like patience to tell somebody something so simple as all you gotta do is make the two lines go together it just goes to prove and goes to show how unbelievable and how welcoming this community is and, and they just want to they just want to help you know and uh they've they've like hooked me up with weapons that aren't even available anymore like i have the vectus prime and the boltor prime now which i would have never been able to get if it wasn't for people who had certain parts and everyone was like pitching in parts and trying to help me get weapons that i couldn't get and it was just super cool uh, to see that's probably my Warframes alert going off. There's probably Nitane Extract right now. That's how nerdy I've gotten with it. Because there's just, like, the way they have the alerts set up and how they have hourly missions for the fissures and, like, all that stuff. It makes each day that you play this game feel different because the missions that you're doing may be the same, but the rewards that you're getting are constantly changing. And I think that's a huge reason why... I'm just absolutely addicted. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any ideas for, like, upcoming Warframe videos or anything. Um, I saw a couple suggestions on uh, someone who was really confused about mods. That might be a video I make soon explaining, like, what mods to use on your Warframe and which, like, mods are absolutely mandatory. Uh, given that I've had a lot of advice from, you know, two to three year veterans that have been playing the game non-stop since launch. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to drop the video a like if you did. And hopefully I will see you guys later on in the Warframe live stream. See you guys soon. Bye everybody.
Mission complete. You are surrounded by Grenier Marines.